Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how we can use the image function in Microsoft Excel to get the image in an Excel cell from a website. So as you are seeing my screen, I have some data here. I have the dashboard name and the URL of the image for that dashboard which I have taken from my website. If I want to show the image here from this web URL, then we can use simply image function image and then in the source we will provide the url so i will give the reference c2 comma rest arguments are optional you can provide all text also so let's provide all text as this one project management dashboard and you can provide the sizing height and width option otherwise you can keep it as it is so just hit the editor you can see we have the image of this dashboard. If I will hover here, then you can see it is showing this tooltip also for that particular dashboard. If I will fill this down, then from that formula, we are getting the image for all web URL. And if we are hovering here, then we can see the big image of that cell. So friends, this image function is available in Office 365. As of now, it is available for Office Insiders, but very soon it will be available for all the Office 365 users. You can use here sizing also. So I'll show you in the size, you can use fit cell. If you use the fit cell, which is zero, then it will fit in the cell or you can use the fill cell also. In that case, it will fill the cell automatically. If you will resize it, it always will be filled. Here you can see. Okay. Now the next is you can use original size. If you will keep the original size, it is showing very small because original image size is very big. And that is the reason it is not appearing properly in the cell. If I will increase the cell size, then here you can see it is little bit visible okay now i'll show you the other thing which is custom size so you can give the custom size also custom size and in the custom size you need to provide the height and width so in that case you can provide the height let's say i'm saying 100 and width 150 point and just hit the enter so here you can see it is 100 and 150 point but you can change it let's say 200 and 150 so it is looking like this or 200 and 250 it is looking like this so friends this formula can be used in your report or dashboard to show some description for any specific product you can use this one so let me show you a few example let's say here i have created a drop down list of the different dashboards and here i have used the image function if I will select another dashboard from here automatically the image will be changed in this cell and then you can show some other information related to that product. So you can use this in your Excel dashboard. Now I'll show you how you can get an image URL from a website. So let's say here I have this website and I have this image for my project management dashboard and I want to get the image URL of this dashboard. I will simply right click and I will copy image link. Now I'll go back to the Excel and I will paste it somewhere here on the sheet. And now I can use the image function and I'll give the source this one and just hit the enter. So I can see the dashboard here. Change the size of the cell, image size also will be changed if we will provide that fill option. So I'll show you that one also here. I have used the fill option. If I will use the fit, then you can see the dashboard will look like this. If I will use one, then it will look like this. All right, friends. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.